Yeah, she's not afraid of me. Well, I take that back. So I'm just walking over here to look at those sandstones a little bit closer. And I guess I got my answer. If the chanterelles are up or not. That would be yes. It's definitely that season. Okay, now what I was going for was to look at these for the fireplace. Oh, I keep calling a fireplace. Fire pit. You know what I mean. These will work. Like I said, I'm not getting them now. Too hot. Too snaky. This is the trail where I found the chanterelles last year. Oh, and I can see them right now. They're actually right over here, too. Alright, let me grab some of these first. I gotta watch it because there's a storm coming. And I don't want to be caught out here. Hey, there's a trail cam. I bet he doesn't even know it's out here. Right under an oak tree. It's one of the hot spots is under oak trees. And I'm not going to pick them all. That would just be wasteful. So I'll just get a few larger ones. It looks like they're just starting. Popping up everywhere under here. Alright, I'm just going to take a couple more. But it's good to know for uh, next year. See, we learn new things about the land every year. Oh, I see a lot more over here. Well, I'm still not to my usual spot, but I've um, definitely seen a lot, and the thunder's getting a little bit louder, so I may just get a couple out of here and uh, get back to the house. Well, along this trail, I found a couple more patches. Oh, all right. Well, hey, little fella, what are you doing up here? You're up on a ridge. Maybe he's protecting him. Oh, those look nice. Nice and healthy. Oh, look at this one. Oh, we're definitely coming to get this guy. Well, at first glance, you might say, oh, there's a giant one. Because really, it's uh, yeah, as big as my hand. Um, but this is not a chanterelle, and 
I'll show you why. And I'm just going to, yeah, I was afraid of that. But, okay, for one thing, it's too tall. Another thing, look at all these little gills, these fins. Chanterelles don't have that. And it has a definite stem. You don't want to be eating this guy. Somebody might eat it. Well, a critter, I mean. But, at me. This is where I was thinking of. I knew it was by a deer stand. I just had to find it. Took a lot to find it, but I did. Yep, oh, here they are again. I'll just pick a couple of the bigger ones. Boy, I really didn't think I was going to get that many. I only brought like three little bowls and I thought actually I was going to get more raspberries or blackberries, I mean. But um, I'll put them in the refrigerator tonight and get them back uh, to my friends and gosh, who knows? I might have some more friends by the time I get back with these. Alright, I gotta get back in because it's thundering like crazy now. That is what I didn't want to get caught in. Made it back just in time. At our other houses and other farms, we never really had a big front porch like this to sit on. And gosh, I can tell you, sure is peaceful. Actually, I was going to say, it sure is peaceful um, during a nice little thunderstorm. Yeah, it got a little bit wet because it got really windy. But it's totally dry over here. Most of the chanterelles that I find are deep in the woods and you know that's fine I like going out in the woods but I want to see if I can get some to grow closer to the house here's the back of the garage and here is a giant tulip poplar and besides hardwoods they say they grow under tulip poplars so I have some leftover bits and pieces that didn't quite cut the grade and I'm going to sprinkle them around see if I can get some uh, propagating over here this is a lower area comes down from the house here I mean right now it's bone dry you can hear the cicadas it's like a desert down here right now but this stays moist in the spring and when we get rain so I am just going to scatter a few out here there it may take them up few years to take off uh, but I know that there's spores in them and they love this kind of a root so let's see if uh, it actually works if not maybe a critter will eat them or they'll just add some more organic material to the ground there <laughs> 